What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Kay, and I'm back again with another video. Are you looking to buy a home right now? Well, home prices are going up, not just in your state, everywhere. Let's go. <laughs> What up, what up, what up? How you guys doing? I'm going to be reacting to another video. Um, first one I reacted to was rent going up. Now <laughs> I'm going to be reacting to home prices. Last year, I said it in my one of my pre the previous video that last year we were, me and uh, other buyers, we were just going at it, trying to buy some property. But right now in 2022, prices are not changing. They're not going down. It's like Fancy. everything is going oh, up. Cool. So, I mean, seriously, we named ourselves. I will be reacting to this video. Um, so I want you guys to 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 follow me here. So hold on, wait till all this nonsense is done. All right. So we're gonna react to this video. Why home prices well, are going up? Real estate in focus today with new data from S and P Case Shiller National Home Price Index. Finding home price growth in the U.S. remained constant in December. S&P posted an 18.8% gain that is unchanged from November, but year over year changes have seen record increases. Let's bring in Danielle Hale, Realtor.com Chief Economist. Danielle, just talk me through what you're seeing right now. Are, are things going to start cooling down? Are we seeing this huge rush on low inventory, the fear of rising rates? Or are you seeing that things could remain heated for a while, even with those rates going up. Yeah, so what we saw in the Case Shiller Index today is that home prices continue to increase. And if we look at where they're increasing, Sunbelt Metro's top the list. But even in markets at the bottom of Case Shiller's top 20, we're still seeing home prices advance at double digit pace. So home prices are going up pretty much everywhere. The pace hasn't yet slowed down, but this is December data from Case Shiller. And remember, mortgage rates were still quite low in December. They've moved up pretty significantly to start the year so far. In fact, they're almost a whole percentage point higher than where they were at the end of December. And so that's gonna significantly affect how much home buyers can afford when they're putting offers in on homes in this real estate market. With, with rent prices going up, and people are start to figure that you know what, maybe I should buy uh, finance a home. Um, people are looking to buy now, so yeah. So the market, the the prices are definitely going to go up. And you know, summertime is here. That's the that's the time a lot of people move, like want to move. So a lot of people are going to be buying during the summer. So if I'm if I'm wrong, somebody please comment below and say yeah, it doesn't matter. But during the summer, I remember when we were looking it was no success during the summer like that whole summer uh, until the end of summer that's when we were able to find a, a property and say yeah this is it and luckily um only two other um offers were on it but our offer was the best so you know Hey, Danielle, it's Brian Chung here. Uh, I really enjoy the research that you're doing with regards to, uh, instead of looking just at the home price appreciation, kind of evaluating whether or not in some cases it might be better for people to rent versus buying a home. And uh, the research that you have over at Realtor.com notes that in 26 of the 50 largest metros, it is actually a better financial choice to go off with buying a starter home as opposed to renting. Tell us a little bit more about where those metro areas are and how the numbers break out. Yeah, I think that's probably a shock to most people since we've been talking so much about rising prices, but rising rents mm -hmm. are pretty common across the board nationwide. Rents are up almost 20% on mm -hmm. a year to year basis. So uh, they're growing faster than the, the pace of home prices. And that means in some markets, not in all, but in just over half of the 50 largest markets, your monthly costs are going to be lower as a buyer than they are as a renter. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So in those markets, if you are in the market and thinking about making a move, it might make sense to consider buying over renting. Now we've got the most expensive areas up there right now. So those are markets where renting makes much more sense than buying because rents 
um, are relatively affordable compared to the price of homes and what you're going to pay on a monthly basis. But in the South and Midwestern markets, those are areas where we tend to see uh, buying make more financial sense on a month to month basis. And so areas like Birmingham, Cleveland, mm. Pittsburgh, you're actually. Look at that. Pittsburgh. I, I live in Maryland, so I'm not too far from from Pittsburgh. Um, Cleveland. Also, look at those numbers. Cleveland um, is 800 uh, a month if you uh, invest into a, a, a starter home. Look at Alabama, 600, and the rent is 1,200. So it's it makes more sense to buy in these cities than um, rent. You know, uh, look at Detroit, 901. Baltimore. I don't I don't know about the 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 cost. But I think this is it's kind of the same thing. It depends on the area you buy, actually. You know, um, like if you go into Baltimore City, you you can get a you can buy a home and get this type of uh, price. But there's a other some other parts of Baltimore City that I don't know it's uh, the value of those homes are much higher. You know, so if you do do me a favor and just type in um, uh, Rolling Park in Baltimore. Those homes are million dollar homes. Yeah. So you're not going to get these. The, you're not going to get the price like that. No, no, not in Roland Park. But anyway, we shall continue. You're going to pay less per month if you buy versus if you rent. Now, it's assuming that you find a home and win an offer on a home and that you have enough to put a down payment down and actually finance the home purchase. I mean, Danielle, we've seen occupancy rates tick higher in some of those key metro areas that you pointed to. If we're talking about purchasing a home and we're seeing the rates pushing higher, potential pullback, again, potential, depends on the market. Does that suggest that rent increases are going to outpace those home purchases and monthly mortgage rates as we move forward or, or further into the year? Yeah, that is what we expect. So rents are going up because in some cases they're making up for lost time during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Rents didn't decline nationwide but they did grow much slower than we would normally expect. Mm -hmm. And some markets did in fact see rents decline. So rents are making up for less time. Mm -hmm. Inflation is pushing up costs for landlords. So they're dealing with higher uh, maintenance, upkeep, mm -hmm. utilities costs, property taxes. You remember a lot of landlords had to fix some of their, they, they didn't get rent for almost a year or two, you know, and all of a sudden they were able to get people out then the house is in 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 is damaged. They have to fix this and and fix that and and clean the property, change the carpet. You know, there might be a hole in the wall. They might have to fix up uh, electrical problem, taxes, all the stuff was happening. So landlords are like, you know what? Those especially private landlords, they're like, we are increasing it. You know, even the apartment complexes also had the same issue. So, you know, it's going to be difficult. There's going to be some hard times. I'm telling you, this is crazy. And they're pushing that burden into the rental price. And then the third thing is that rental vacancy is at an all time low. And so that means in many markets, landlords don't have to compete for renters. It's renters that have to compete for the landlord's attention to get the unit. And so that is a recipe for continued price increases. Now, I will say we do expect the pace of rent growth to slow. So we're still going to see rents grow. But our expectation is that we'll see them average about 7% this year, which is still about twice what you would expect in a normal, healthy market. Yeah, Danielle, that's a good distinction that you bring up there that just because in some cases it might be better to buy, it's not because home prices are going down. Where are specific markets where you're seeing a really a hot housing market that is really expensive to rent and also really expensive to own a home. I know of one town in Texas, Hook'em Horns, uh, that's also feeling that heat there. Yeah, Austin is the top of many of our lists lately, and that's because it's just getting so much attention from buyers and renters, anyone looking to relocate from out of town. You've got uh, the no income tax that Texas is famous for that's drawing in a lot of people. You've got a growing, developing tech industry in the Austin market. Realtor.com has an office in the Austin area. So lots of tech companies located there are drawing workers in, and especially those who have flexibility, who may have been in the Bay Area and may not want to stay in that area anymore. They can find great affordability in Austin relative to the cost of homes in the Bay Area, whether we're talking buying or rent, and they can still be in a great tech market. And so even though prices are going up, 
uh, they're still relatively affordable compared to those California prices. Wow. That's why remote work is going to be is a major factor in this new um, this this year. Um, remote work. Everybody wants to find remote work and move to a city that's affordable so they can pay the rent. Texas is definitely growing. Um, a lot of people are moving to Texas uh, from from the West Coast and from the East Coast, like from New York and from like California. Um, you know, some some markets are kind of stable, um, but that's the way that things are. Things are things are changing, and um, you know, let's see, let's see how things uh, work out for those people who are still looking to um, to purchase or to to find affordable housing. But anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and also hit that notification and comment below um, and let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day. Peace.